Reptiles and samurai. Reptiles and samurai. Sorry, just a little oingo boingo there. There is never a bad opportunity to sing some oingo boingo. Anyway, welcome back to Blackjack. I am no longer joined by Kelly, who is back in the middle of nowhere. However, I am joined by Athena, who is better. Suck it, turn up girl. She knows. Anyway, um, I was going to say, uh, this is actually my second attempt. The first time crashed. And so, consequently, is the camera off? That's really weird. Anyway, I don't know much about uh, either one of them. I have a little more experience with Shredder, but that's not much. Let's get back, back into this. Hundreds of years ago, the samurai and the ninja battled across that Japan. Show. It's supposed to be really good. And these two fascinating ways of combat have been at odds ever since. Those aren't ways the of Shredder, combat. The sharp and shiny arch villain of the Ninja Turtles. And Silver Samurai, the mutant swordsman who can slice through anything. He's whiz and I'm oh, okay. And so it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, weapons. and skills to find out who would win <laughs> a death battle. <laughs> Beneath the streets of New York City, a secret battle wages between four humanoid turtles and a ninja covered in blades known as the Shredder. It's not even the top five Many legends things surround the, the Shredder's origins. Some say he's the reincarnation of an ancient Japanese warrior. Some say he's an alien disguised as a man, and some say he's a bumbling idiot who sounds like Uncle Phil. But I don't want to conquer this place. I want to conquer Earth. Either it's way, time every to conquer Earth. One thing, he's an absolute badass. Before he was called the Shredder, he was a Rokusaki, a member of the Japanese six foot six because foot of course he is. He trained alongside his rival. This is where it cut off before. They weren't just rivals in martial arts, but in the search for love now, as well. Is they both both actually for the lovely lady trail. Tang Shen, but unfortunately for our future Shredder, she only had eyes for Yoshi. Amato Yoshi, not the dinosaur. That'd be weird. Jealous. Yeah, Obama well, Saki we attacked Yoshi. But in his it rage, still wouldn't even be the top five weirdest thing. Shen. There is no Leaving cut mark Yoshi on her. beloved for dead, Saki took over the Foot Clan and began a worldwide crime spree under his new name. Now you face the Shredder. You know, I wonder, did, did he mean to name himself after a cheese grater? Speaking of which, if his armor didn't make it obvious enough, Shredder's got a weird spike fetish. This guy's got him all over his legs, arms, shoulders, even his head. That headpiece, the Kuro Kabuto, is a relic passed down through the Foot Clan for over 1,500 years. Forged from the totems of the clan's defeated enemies, it was formed into an alloy that's stronger than steel. Plus, it just looks awesome. Obviously, mm. his armor is also a kick-ass weapon, and he can cut anyone down with the Teko Kagi claws on his wrists, which Kuro literally Kabuto. translates and to the back of the hand flex. hooks. Perfect for backhanding. It doesn't cover all that much, but he needs freedom of movement because, you know, he's a ninja. Plus, would you want to get anywhere near a guy covered in razors? Yeah, I don't think so. Ninjutsu is comprised of 18 separate disciplines, and Shredder is a master of all of them. This includes Including stealth, espionage, pyrotechnics, horsemanship, and plenty of weaponry. Yeah, like swords, spears, bow stabs, and throwing weapons. So, but it's not like he needs it anyway. He He's skilled in armed combat, too. When now he's a master covered in of his craft, metal. the Shredder led the Foot Clan to New York City, where he found out Hamato Yoshi wasn't quite as dead as he thought. As a matter of fact, Yoshi had transformed into a rat person and was raising four adolescent genetically altered shinobi terrapins. But that's another story altogether. With his hatred reinvigorated, the Shredder swore to end his lifelong enemy once and for all. Every time Shredder fought these Instead ninja of just turtles, saying you're a rat, I'm taking away. He's the leader of the Foot Clan. I mean, he's strong enough to tear through steel Let's shit touch and with his claws, chop down trees in one it's sword steel. swing, and throw around mutants Oil several tanker. times his size like they're nothing. Super one such Shredder, mutant, Leatherhead, be. weighs well over 300 pounds. All right, I know that's the official weight according to some toy, but look at him! Compared to the turtles, he should weigh half a ton. Either way, the Shredder survived Leatherhead chomping down on his midsection. The femur, the strongest bone in the human body, 
brakes at a pressure of about 1,700 pounds per square inch. A normal, unmutated American alligator can bite with a force of nearly 3,000 psi. Nice. And Leatherhead's nice. bite is surely stronger. Meaning Shredder should have split it. Also, it looks like it was but biting no, his head was in back up, some some butt. Butt. Literally five seconds later. The Shredder is a cunning strategist and talented warrior. Pounds He's fought eight mutants in combat all at here. once, disarming every single one of them. What's more, while intimidating an Italian mob boss and his bodyguards, he did this. <laughs> The most well-trained human eyes are capable of detecting movements occurring in 1 220th of a second, meaning Shredder's Slash could have been even faster than that. But nice. sometimes Shreds needs just a bit more juice to get the job done. Literally, when you and see him right back open a green one, he's not doing it to hang out with the boys. In times of desperation, Shredder is known to resort to risking it all by consuming Udichin. Transforming him into Super Shredder! His armor expands with it! Drink all of it! It's a Super Shredder! And while this form changes. has given him different enhancements in yeah. different iterations, it usually grants him immense strength, inhuman durability, and even teleportation in the power to shoot lightning. You know, that's nice. probably because mutagen's not an exact science and it's bound to get random at times. That's true, Boomstick. I did a science! Good job. <laughs> well, he's we should all do a sword shattering against his skin and even falling around a thousand feet onto a steel beam. Man, you'd think this guy would never lose anything, ever. <laughs> but you'd also be super wrong. Shredder has well, his yeah. fair share of downsides. This includes a weakness to garbage trucks. Oops. New morning. There are babies. The power of music. I hate music! A strange fascination with eating his enemies. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. And wood. Jeez, were the 90s always this stupid? Yeah. Thankfully, despite his failures, the Shredder keeps getting nice. back up. Faster, stronger, and much more terrifying. There we go. The true battle starts now! In feudal Japan, a samurai wasn't your typical bodyguard. He was trained in the art of war, she and did. would only serve the elite upper class. Honor was the samurai's currency. But for the silver samurai, Kenoichi Harada, that currency right. was just regular money, because that shit's useful. Yeah. Born into the Yashida clan. Also Rada six foot six. How the hell do these people get so tall? Unfortunately, he could never inherit his father's empire for himself. Because Unbelievable. he was born illegitimately. A bastard. Wow, wait, no need to throw insults around, Wiz. No, the literal definition of bat move on. Wiz's judgment aside, without a clear future, well, he's probably Rada that kind decided of decided to well become a samurai, because why not? You're pretty cool, right? Unfortunately, the way of the samurai no longer had a place in the present. Harada knew that in a world full of absurd superpowers, he would need to dedicate his life to the art in a Hi, way Logan. he'd never seen before. He wouldn't just be a samurai, he'd be a silver samurai. Bum, bum, bum. Yep. Well, blinged out like exhibits rims, he picked up on a few fighting styles. Not too many, just Bajutsu, the art of horseback, Bujutsu, military strategy, Eijutsu, the sword-based quick draw, Tanto Jutsu, knife fighting, Ninjutsu, being sneaky, Kyujutsu, which is archery, and, well, Jujutsu and Karate Do, which are both forms of unarmed combat. God, how many more Jutsus do you think you can fit in his brain? I didn't even know there were that many. At least one more, Kenjutsu, the art of Japanese sword fighting. After all, Didn't what's a samurai without a katana at his side? Yeah, that's what. In order to keep living, he had to get really good with swinging that sword. Luckily for Harada, he soon learned he had weapons. one of those absurd superpowers for himself. Yep, Archery he's a mutant. One. Now who's being insensitive? Harada has the ability to generate a tachyon field. With it, he can enhance his sword, allowing it to slice through almost anything. Even hmm. ghosts! In real life, tachyonic fields are hypothetical particles with mass, which travel right, faster than light. A definition which may explain mm. how Harada's cutting ability works. So, so yeah, we use the power on sharp objects. Well, that's too bad for everybody in Silver Samurai's way, because he carries a lot of them. 
He's got throwing knives and shuriken right and stars on hand really? for long range attacks. And of course, he always carries that katana. He's wielded many different swords, including the legendary Marmasa blade. However, he's not too picky about what kind of sword he carries. <laughs> he's just it around on the ground. Any blade Harada carries instantly I mean, yeah, becomes I get that one it's of the most dangerous but... swords on the planet. Harada has one more trick up his sleeve, a teleportation ring. With it, he can warp around no. the battlefield for unexpected strikes, and it makes no for a good getaway. Though he almost lost it once to John Belushi. You know, the guy from Saturday Night Live? Jocelyn told me about it once. It was weird. No! After years of hard work, Harada was truly a masterful warrior. However, he still struggled to defeat one the guy's opponent. In mind. The Wolverine, who, who killed his America. dad and got engaged to his sister. Ah, the shame combo. Oh, and she was next in line to rule the Yashida clan. Man, a triple. Needless to say, a little myth. Harada challenged his own sister for the right to run the clan. And he won. After she was poisoned by an unrelated third party. Sometimes okay. life just works out with... I guess a win's a win, and that license? wouldn't be his last one. He's incredibly deadly in battle. He's so fast he deflects bullets with his sword, and once even sliced a speeding bullet completely in half. In this instance, the gunman was standing 15 feet away when he fired the bullet at approximately 1,400 feet per second. This means that Silver Samurai was able to reach for his sword faster. and accurately cleave the bullet in two in just over one hundredth of a second. Even if he didn't chop it in half, his He's armor is totally faster. Joe didn't even let him survive a friggin' building falling on top of him. But without his armor, he survived taking a sword straight to the lungs and being turned over by a car from the f***ing Jetsons. He's no slouch on the battlefield either. He's knocked Spider-Man unconscious, shaken off hits from Cannonball, and even defeated Spider-Woman in combat. At one point, he was dogpiled by Daredevil, She-Devil, along with a cheetah and a panther, together likely weighing over 600 pounds in total. And he threw them all off in one big push. And he's always fighting he's with his both number ways. one rival, and Wolverine. Speaking of which, while some may boast that Harada is the greatest swordsman in the world, but... Wolverine's frequently proven to be his better. Yeah, he may be good with his blade, yeah. but his battle strategy isn't quite as sharp. Also, his bulletproof armor doesn't cover everything, as seen here. Well, even that was merciful compared to what happened when he went up against the four black samurai. Although Harada defeated them all against impossible odds, he ultimately succumbed to his wounds. And when yeah. he arrived in hell, Harada met the devil, who promptly killed him again by cutting off his head and smashing his corpse into mush with a soul-destroying sword the size of a school bus. Damn! Never <laughs> let it be said, the silver samurai isn't hardcore. No kill like overkill, Plus, right? Yes, Harada. Yield. The silver samurai yields to no man. <laughs> All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. Fun. But first, all this talk of slicing and dicing has got me thinking about a blue apron meal. Uh, no, it doesn't. Her meal. I actually got a like, don't bother. I come slash battle. Blue right apron. out the door cook. after this right is done. Now, it's time for, for a, a death battle. battle! Okay. Um, uh, Shredder is definitely more experienced, he knows more, uh, combat, um, d styles, um, Silver Samurai seems tougher and faster, though. Um, I don't know, it seems like Shredder has more endurance, uh, but I could be wrong, I, I don't know. Like I said, I have absolutely no idea about either of these characters, and I am eager to get done with this because I have to go. Like, I have to rush immediately out the door as soon as I'm done. Yeah? Yeah, birds? Okay, so, um, I'm just going to get started on this. And, uh, I really have no idea who's going to win. I could go either way with this. Um... Crickets. You hear crickets, Peter? Yeah. Now, what do those trees ever do to you? I'll tell you, though, you get some dead wood hauled away. 
And slice it, slice it, slice it. That's not even slicing, that was you floating. Are match for the shredder. Yeah! No banter? You probably use video game audio clips then, aren't they? Holding it straight out in front of you cannot be good. Your arms were made a target. Really? Really? Are you going to play me? There we go. Yeah. I just realized, Shredder's the only one with a transformation. What's the Silver Samurai I really need? Trying to do Hell's Gate there for a second, huh? And now he's gonna use the mutagen. He didn't even drink it, he just poured it on himself. Yeah, victory pose right there, huh? Uh-uh, stop. Did he just slice lightning? Or did he just channel lightning? He just cut off his freaking arm! Yep, there we go. And... Nice! Good for you, good for you. I bet Shredder would go far if he took up darts. Both Shredder and Silver <laughs> Samurai are incredibly tough, capable of withstanding tremendous amounts of pain. Harada's armor may have been tougher, but it had plenty of exposed weak points which a fighter as precise as Shredder could exploit. Oh, that's Silver right. Silver Samurai could throw around 600 pounds off people and cats, which is technically stronger than anything Shredder's done. But Shredheads handled equally mighty mutants plenty of times, like Leatherhead. While the Silver Samurai's teleportation ring did make him harder to track, he's always preferred to use it as a means of escaping a battle, not really engaging in one. Even oh. when he did use it during combat, his moves were often predicted by more experienced opponents. This guy likes to come at me from behind. Just find out one of your tricks, Tin Man. Given Shredder's talents and history, it's reasonable to believe he could do the same. Still, with Harada's tech Blade and Shredder's ninja precision, they only needed to land Excellent. one fatal hit to finish the fight. Nice, so nice. the real question was, who could land the killing blow first? Silver Samurai's best speed feat, slicing an incoming bullet, clocked in at one hundredth of a second. Shredder's faster than eyesight feat measured at four thousandths, making him over two times faster than Harada. Really? Blunt, Shredder's fastest known attack was to hit a moving target? Harada's fastest known defense. Proving that Shredder could deal a killing blow first. Or, you know, he could just turn into Super Shredder and beat the shit out of him. I mean, Super Shredder can lift and throw a giant oil tanker like it's a. The people in cats. Looks like Shredder was too much for Silver to tacky on. The winner is the. Sh Stick around, we're about to announce the commands. Give us a good one, give us a good one. And if you want to watch exclusive commentary on this episode, click that over there and start a first membership trial. Bahoo! Not even you can prevent this. <laughs> wow, it's been a while since they've had a good joke battle. Okay, remove. You've got to be shitting me! Oh my god! You know, Slathena, I think the last pure joke battle was, uh... Justin Bieber versus Rebecca Black, right? 
That's not fair. Black's supposed to be a very nice girl. She just has no business in a music career. But, uh, yeah, I gotta go. I really don't have many thoughts on the battle. Next time... I knew there had to be some weird reason that they were giving us the voice actors. But holy shit. <laughs> Do either one of them actually have fighting experience? I mean, a bear versus a bloodhound? But yeah, I mean... Okay, um... It's over. I have to go. I'm meeting someone for lunch in 20 minutes. Bye-bye.